Line segment RW has endpoints R negative 4, 5, W6, 20. Point P is on RW such that RP to PW is broken into ratios of 2 to 3. What are the coordinates of point P? This is a classic uh, region's geometry question. I'm not going to draw this on a coordinate grid because, quite frankly, sometimes I feel like um, like drawing it on a grid can sometimes be a little more uh, intrusive. So I'm just going to position R and W relative to one another, okay, spaced apart. And again, it doesn't have to be drawn to scale. It just have to be uh, relatively represent the situation here. So R is negative 4, 5, which implies R is going to be to the left of W. And since... Um, 5 is lower than 20, that would also imply that R is going to be lower than W. So I'm going to place R on the lower uh, left hand corner over here. So this is R and W, uh, and R has a coordinates of negative 4, 5. And W, I'm going to position over here, which has coordinates of 6, 20. I'm going to use a finer pen, and I'm going to connect these together. So point P is going to be somewhere between, is going to be somewhere between R and W, such that point P will partition this line into ratios of 2 to 3. Ratios of 2 to 3 suggests that point P is going to be somewhere closer towards point R than it is towards point W, right? So I'm going to place P here. And I have no idea what that coordinate is. But what I do know is the uh, point P partitions uh, the, the line segments into ratios of 2 to 3. So therefore, I'm going to say RP will have a, a length of 2N. And PW will have a, uh, a length of 3N. Again, this sustains that ratio right, of 2 to 3. So with that in mind, okay, and uh, everything pretty much just drawn in, uh, this is set up for, um, to solve. This question is actually a similar triangle question in disguise because if I drop a line down, a vertical line down from W and draw a horizontal line over from R, you're going to see that I end up with a right triangle here. And if I take point P and do the same thing and drop a line down, hitting the horizontal component of the larger right triangle, I will end up with yet another smaller right triangle. These two right triangles are therefore going to be similar because they both have a right angle and both triangles are sharing angle R. I know the dimensions of the large right triangle. The vertical, the height of this large triangle will have a height of 20 minus 5 which is going to be 15. The horizontal component is going to have a length of 6 minus negative 4, which is going to be a value of 10. So again, the length of the horizontal is 10, the vertical will be 15. Because these two triangles are similar, the sides are going to be proportional to one another. So looking at this right now, the smaller triangle, I don't know what the horizontal is. I want to call that horizontal length there x. I'm going to use a different color here. So there's some, some distinguishing here, and it will make it stand out a little more. So that's x. And then the vertical component of the smaller right triangle will have a value. I don't know what it is. I'm going to call that y. So the following must be true. x, which is the shorter, uh, which is the horizontal component of the right triangle, is to the horizontal component of the large right triangle. And this proportion will hold true for the vertical component as well. This will be y to 15. These two things are going to be equal to one another, and they're also going to equal to the ratios of the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse of the small triangle is 2n. The hypotenuse of the large triangle is 5 n. Notice now the n's cancel. So in other words, I have two equations here. I have x over 10 is equal to 2 fifths, and I have y over 15 is also equal to 2 fifths. So now I have enough information to solve for x and solve for y. I'm going to multiply both sides by 10 in x over 10 equal to 2 fifths, and if I do, I'll end up with 
uh, 10 times 2 over 5, which means x is equal to 4. I'm going to do the same thing with the, to solve for y. I'm going to multiply both sides by 15. And if I do, I'll end up with 15 times 2 over 5, which means y will equal to 6. So looking at this, right, x and y, that uh, 4 and 6 doesn't give me the coordinates of p. To identify where p is, what I need to do is I need to go from negative 4, 5. I'm going to have to move to the right by x units and then vertically by y units. So what does that suggest then? That suggests that p will be negative 4 plus 4. Right, that's the x uh, coordinate. And then I'm from 5, I will need to go up. So 5 plus 6. So this will tell me that the coordinates for p will be 0, comma, 11. And that would be option 2.